if you look at North Korea, this guy, this may, I mean, he's like a maniac. This guy doesn't play games, and we can't play games with him because he really does have missiles. This is Kara Holbrook with Cal TV News. I'm sitting here with Stephen Fish, a professor of political science at University of California, Berkeley. We are here today to discuss the topic of recent missile deployments in both North Korea and Russia and how that will affect the United States in the future. So, Professor Fish, how do you think President Trump will react to these recent deployments? Well, so far, Kara, we don't see much response at all on the part of the Trump administration. And I think the reason is, is that they're really in a state of chaos right now. Trump did say on the campaign trail, and shortly after he was elected, that North Korea would never get real launch powers. It might have nuclear weapons, but it's never going to be able to fire them at the United States. Made pretty clear that he was going to do whatever it took to stop that. He's viewed by many Americans as perhaps not even being loyal to the United States, which of course makes it almost impossible for him to negotiate a deal with the Russians. In some ways, this is really unfortunate because we do need much better relations with Russia. It's just that you want the guy negotiating for your side to be on your side. And it's not entirely clear right now that Trump is on America's side. Do you see these actions by uh, North Korea and Russia uh, potentially foreshadowing a new nuclear era? There's already a new nuclear arms race going on. That's been going on for several years. Russia has been modernizing its forces really for the better part of the last decade very rapidly. The United States has been a little bit behind but does have plans for massive nuclear modernization. The question is, is actually within the framework of mutual modernization whether the United States and Russia can cut a deal that would actually limit the growth of nuclear arms and enable each side to monitor the other at least a little bit. That would be moving back to the more creative and constructive policies of the Cold War like we had during the Nixon administration and the Ford and Carter administrations. So do you think that the actions uh, recently by North Korea and Russia will change Trump's foreign policy? During the campaign and since he was elected, He's been consistent just about saying that he wants to back away from what he calls globalism. He wants to throw up tariff barriers on our biggest trading partners like China and Mexico. He wants to wall the United States off from some of the world. He's shown a very lukewarm support for NATO, which is the kind of core of our traditional alliances. So his foreign policy promises to be a radical departure from what we've had in the past. Both our friends and our enemies put their countries above ours. And we, while being fair to them, must start doing the same. A lot of, you know, challenges that refugees are going through, getting their initial employment in the